Good day everyone, I am Tishan Floyd Villarubia and I am a student from UCMTC BSNT2 and for this, today's activity we'll be doing a manual radar plotting for navigation 2 to 5. So for the scenario we have, by radar observation, the officer on watch observed three targets at the same time. After executing the three process of plotting, the officer on watch will commence the last process and set 12 nautical mile distance scale on the radar plotting sheet for collision avoidance. Now let's go for the radar, manual radar plotting. So according to the table, we have three target observations. So the first target observation, we have at a time of 800 hours, we have a bearing of 90 degrees through and a distance of 12 nautical miles. And the second observation is we have on 806 hours, we have 90 degrees through with a distance of 10 nautical miles. So we need to plot that in the manual plotting sheet. So first, we need to locate the first observation, which is 90 degrees through on 12 nautical miles. So this is the 90 degrees through, and the range ring, or the range scale, is equals to 2 is to 12. So basically, each ring is equals to 2 nautical miles. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 nautical miles. So this will be our first observation. And for the second observation, we have a 96 degrees through on a 10 nautical mile distance. And this point here, this will be the second observation, which will be named for M806. So after plotting the two observations, we need to create a line con uh, joining these two dots, or the two points. And this will be the RM line, or the relative motion line. After we um, plotted the RM line, we need to transfer the RM line to the center of the radar. And in doing that, we need to use the triangle ruler. And transfer the line to the center. So we have a DRM of 244 degrees through based on the radar. Okay, okay so the next thing we need to do is to uh, measure the distance from the point R to point M. So we're going to use a compass divider. So from point R to point M, then we need to use the scaling in the side of the chart or the sheet. So according to the distance, we have a 2.4 nautical miles from R to M. Since we've got the RM distance, R to M distance, we need, uh, we need to calculate the SRM. So the SRM formula is equals to uh, R does um, distance, which is 2.4 nautical miles, multiplied by 60 over times in minutes. So since we have an uh, interval of 6 minutes from R to M, so we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna use 6 minutes. So 2.4 multiplied by 60 is equals to 144 nautical miles, divided by 6 minutes, so we have an SRM of 24 knots. The, the next thing we need to do is, we need to plot um, the bearing of the closest point of approach and the distance of the closest point of approach. So in doing that, we need to um, subtract 90 degrees to the DRM, 244 degrees through. We need to subtract 90 degrees and we're gonna have a bearing of 154 degrees through. 244 minus 90, 154. Then after uh, plotting the BCPA, The intersection between the BCPA and the RM line is called the CPA, right here. And we need to calculate the distance from the center to the CPA, which will be our distance of the closest point of approach. So that will be 5.4 nautical miles. Then the next thing is we're going to need to calculate the time of the closest point of approach. But we still need the distance from point R to the CPA. Point R to CPA since this is in the formula. So the distance to find the TCPA is equals to 10.8 nautical miles. Then we need then we'll calculate. So distance R to CPA which is 10.8 nautical miles multiplied by 16 divided by DSRM which is 24 knots. 
So 10.8 multiplied by 60 will have 648 nautical miles and divided by 24 knots. So we're gonna have a time to closest point of approach which is 27 minutes. So for the target 2 and target 3, same procedure, same method. Um, plot the two observations, make the RM line, transfer the RM line to the center to get the DRM. Uh, find the SRM by getting the distance of the R and M multiplied by 60 divided by the time in minutes or the interval to R and M. Then add 90 degrees or subtract 90 degrees depending on the plot to get the bearing of CPA. Then calculate the distance from the center to CPA to get the DCPA. And calculate the distance or measure the distance from the R to CPA to find the time for the closest point of approach. So basically, the target 2 and 3 have the same procedure, but uh, different observations. So we have here in the table the answers for targets 1, targets 2, and targets 3. For the target 1, we have a DRM of 244 degrees through with a bearing of 154 degrees through. The CPA distance is equals to 5.4 nautical miles and we have a speed of the relative motion which is 24 knots and the time of the CPA is 27 minutes. For the target 2, we have a DRM of 134 degrees through, the CPA bearing of 224 degrees through, a CPA distance of 6.9 nautical miles, a speed of relative motion 32 knots and the time of CPA <coughs> which is 13 minutes and 18 seconds. And for the target 3, same method, so we'll have DRM of 263 degrees through with a CPA bearing of 172 degrees through, a CPA distance of 1.5 nautical miles, an SRM of 20 knots, and a time of CPA 21 minutes. And that is all for today's activity. Thank you for listening.